Hello, this is Office Buddy, and in this quick video tutorial, let's quickly learn how to create a dependent drop-down list or a dynamic drop-down list. And what we are going to do in this video is, if you can see, uh, here is a list of cars following up from my previous video. You can see the name of the country uh, and, and the cars underneath the name of the country. What we want to do here is have two drop-down lists. So the first one here, we will be able to select the country and then based on our selection, the next cell, the drop-down list will give us the options that are available based on the country we have selected. So how we do it, it's pretty simple as well. Let's start. So what we need to do for the first drop-down list is uh, we have to create name ranges. So as you can see, this is the list of cars that are German made. What I need to do is create a name range. So in Excel, how you can do that, there are multiple ways of doing that. But what you can do is select the list that you want to give a name to and then click here and just type the name. So German in this case and press enter. And there you go. Now, every time you select these cells, automatically Excel identifies this as the name range German. And I will show you in a minute how this helps. So let's create name ranges for the other ranges as well. Uh, we want to call this British and the names should be exactly the same as uh, these titles, uh, which we want to be able to see in the drop down here once we create the drop down list. So uh, let's move on and make the Italian name range. There we go. And the last one is French. Okay. So now that we have our name ranges, let's start uh, start with our first drop down list, which is the country. So how we do it, it's uh, pretty simple. Click on the cell, then go to data, click on data validation, select list, and then in the source, click this button, and then you select your source, which are these four countries. Now go back, click OK, and you can see here, these are your options, drop down options. Now in this cell, we want only the cars to be selected based on our selection from this drop down list. So what we are going to do here is we are going to create another drop down list and this time click on data again, data validation, same thing, click on list. But in the source, we apply a formula which is indirect. So this will be indirect and then brackets open and you just simply select the cell where it is going to be picked up from and then close the bracket and then click OK. Now it gives you an error message but don't worry about this because we haven't selected anything in the country cell yet. So just click yes. OK, so now we have our two drop down lists ready. So let's see if it is working. Let's select German here and see what are the options available. There you go. Here is our dependent or a dynamic drop-down list which is based on the other list. Similarly, if I select Italian, for example, I get these options. There you go. So that's how you create a dependent drop-down list. Hope this video helps. If it does, please click like and subscribe to my channel.